here today with James Foster and Quinn Morgan. Uh, they are actually uh, getting married tomorrow. And we wanted to catch up with them and get their story and do a little featurette on them. How are you guys doing? Doing well. Doing great. Fantastic. So uh, what do you all do for a living? Uh, I work at Auto Exotic right now. I'm a mechanic over there. Yeah. How about you? I, uh, I don't really do anything right now. I'm just uh, kind of chilling, trying to figure out what I want to do. Uh, so, uh, I, I really am interested in your guys' story here. So, you know, uh, it's, it's not very common to see, uh, very many weddings, you know? So, uh, I, I, I'm really curious about you. Uh, so tell me, uh, who made the first move? James. James made the first move. Was it smooth or was it more like a hilarious stumble? No, it was smooth. Oh, He's was always it? been smooth. Oh, let's, let, come on. Sometimes. <laughs> okay, good times. Come on, share, share, share. Our, our, yeah, James, our viewers want to know. Uh, I don't even know which one to go with right now. You, you can't hit me on the spot like this. It, it just kind of happens when it happens. All right, Quinn. Well, Quinn, you said it was smooth. So, so what exactly happened? He, he's gonna, he's gonna keep this one tucked away. Apparently. Um, I was in. Los Angeles, where I lived before this. And, uh, he, um, I was walking down the street. I saw him and was intrigued. He came up to me, asked me who I was, asked me what my number was. And then I don't know what it was, but I just gave it to him. And I don't normally do that. Okay. So you you were like he just went for the number and you said, All right. And just Yeah, gave it basically. Up. Yeah, just gave All it right. up. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Not quite what I meant, but yeah, okay, okay. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, uh okay. All right. So you, you met her in Los Angeles and uh, so what made you approach her? I don't know, it was just something about her when my eye caught her that instantly drew me towards her. And the rest is history from there. The rest is history from there. All right. Fall for, and, every, fall for more and more every day. All right. And, uh, so how long have y'all been together now? Just over uh, two and a half years. Just over two and a half. You know, so two and a half years, that's not a short amount of time. So you guys have uh, spent a lot of time and got to know each other very well, I take it. Yes. Yes, we have. What would you say uh, during, throughout your relationship? Uh, what would be the most embarrassing thing that you guys have gone through within your relationship? You know, it'd be, you know I'm not asking for any uh, performance anxieties or anything like that. <laughs> uh, oh, <laughs> I'm not I'm let's, not asking about that. Let's not talk about those, okay? Oh my god. That's not what I'm going for occasion, here. Those occasionally happen, but hey. Yeah, Good man, no. you know. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I know. There's a nice little blue pill. Yep, mm -hmm. I'm good. It is what it is. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay that, so we went yeah, off subject, I understand. Yep. <laughs> no, like uh, you know, have you uh ever had an embarrassing moment like uh oh my goodness, uh my uh I, I got toilet paper to my shoe or you know, something like that. I'm sure you guys have a funny story. There's got to be something. James? Uh, I don't know. Oh, my well, God. I, I, I'm going to let you say this one. I don't no. know. No. <laughs> right, you got to answer some of these questions, James. Come on, James. You got one. You got one. See, he doesn't want to say it because he doesn't want to embarrass you. Does he have your permission with all of your moments throughout your yep. relationship that he could share? Yep, he sure does. I don't even know. To be honest, I really don't. Oh, oh well, uh, okay. He hates okay. Being put on the spot. I, I, obviously. I'm not, well, I'm not on the spot. 
All right. So here, okay, we can leave that one out. Uh, uh, Quinn, I'm going to yeah. direct this towards you. What is the one thing you do that absolutely drives him nuts? In a loving way, of course. <laughs> um, probably when I accidentally punch him all the time. <clears throat> Allegedly. <laughs> Let you, uh, no, you, you know I like the rough. Come on now. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know it's right. love taps. Uh, Just a little love taps? All right, all right. I, I, I could see that. I could see that. Uh, so, what about you, James? Drives are nuts. It's probably when I, when I don't. When I, my pacing problem that I get sometimes. Cause it's oh just, my god, it does drive me nuts. I don't know, I can't stand still. I always gotta move. And ah. She hates it. I I can understand that. Uh, you know, there's a, it, it takes a lot to actually sit still sometimes. You know, it's like, oh, can I please do anything else? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's funny. Uh, if, so... Either one of you can answer this one. If you, uh, if your love story was a movie, what would the title be? Oh boy, I'm not a movie person, so this was hard for me to think about. Uh, the movie title pretty much is a, a summary of what your relationship is. You know, so it kind of. Uh, yeah, I'm that would be what that one. is. Trying to think of one that I know that I can use to describe this. See, uh, as far as my uh, my professional relationship with my camera woman over there, I'd, I'd call the movie Crash and Burn. I feel like ours would be Unhinged Chaos. I'm not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that. I like that. That is a good title. That is a fantastic title. I really like that. So, Quinn, when did you realize? that he was the one. Um, this is probably going to sound crazy to a lot of people, but it was shortly after we met. Was there any specific moment that you were like, yeah? He, James is very fiercely protective. He has been since day one. And I never had that before, and it just changed the way I saw him. Excellent. I, I, that's a very beautiful answer. I like that. James, how about you? When did you realize she was the woman for you? And that was going to, that's it, you're done. The first time I looked at her, honestly. They, they, you know, my entire life, I've all, you know, they say love at first sight is a thing. I never believed it until I caught an eye on her. No. I looked. I just looked at her, and I knew that she was the one that I wanted to be with for the rest of my life. All right, that that's beautiful. Uh, what's your favorite thing about Quinn? Her crazy side is. It, it, I just something about how crazy she be. Some, she gets sometimes. She's nothing but chaos. Just. <laughs> chaos, chaos, something about chaos is attracting me. Allegedly. Hey. Allegedly. <laughs> How about you, Quinn? What about James? What's uh, what's your favorite thing about him? Um, probably his fierce protectiveness. That he'll do whatever he can to make sure that I'm protected. It's very commendable. Very much so. Uh, when you guys, you know, because everybody goes through stuff when they're first, uh, when they're first starting out in a relationship, you're getting to know each other and everything. Uh, did you all ever make any promises like, hey, I promise I won't do this? You know, anything like that? Did you make any promises to each other? Um, I promised him I would never leave. And I, I promised her that there would, there's no limits to what I would do to make sure that she is protected at all times. All right. How do you guys envision your life uh, in, let's say, the next five years? 
I'd say we probably have a house and just relaxing, honestly. Our life can be chaotic at points. So just being able to relax would be nice. So what can be chaotic about your life? Just being in the city is chaotic sometimes. Is it? Is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just walking down of, the street, it's like, damn it. A lot of crazies in this city. A lot of crazies. Uh, oh. Yeah, I can... Uh, okay. Well, it's a good thing you're protector. That's good. That's good. So, Quint, has there ever been a time where he truly surprised you through his love and support for you? Um, I've had issues with my old family and he's been there with me every step of the way and I should have expected it, but I didn't. And it surprised me. All right, so uh, there's uh, there's been some family issues and he's just stood there and been there with you and helped you everywhere he could, huh? Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, how about you, James? Any anything uh, surprise you about her through love and support? Just the fact that she's always she always says tells me and always confirms me that she's gonna be there no matter what and always gonna be behind me no matter what I decide I do. What's a dream both of you have? Uh, you know, in the future, what's a dream that you guys have that you can't wait to share once you're married? Dream to have to share once we're married? Probably, for me, it would just be, you know, a house and that's what I was gonna say. everything else. And, yeah. Heck yeah, nice, nice house. So, and you guys ever think about children? At some point, that might be discussed, but it's not being rushed. What is one thing you would say to each other right now? while the whole world is listening. Um, James, I love you. And I'm in this relationship for life. And you're an, an incredible person. One thing I would say is I always reiterate there's nothing I, would do, I wouldn't do to protect you. I love you, you are my world. And that is it from here. Hey, guys, that was beautiful. And, uh, you know, thank you so much for, for coming out.